All right, breaking news here on Sports Center. Chael Sonnen is here. That means it is over. It was over quick. Rowdy Ronda Rousey looking maybe as good as she's ever looked, knocking out Betts Correa, Correa, excuse me, in under 40 seconds, your initial thoughts on what you just saw. Look, Ronda came out trying to implement her gra uh, grappling plan. Kohea was ready for it. She circled, she got out of the tie-ups, but when she was defending the grappling, she wasn't defending her chin. Ronda started the boxing assault that we've only heard of through her coach, through gym training. Turns out it's all true. She put her down with that hook. It seems like every time that she comes back, she adds something to the arsenal. Is that what you expected tonight? Did you expect it to be that good? No, I did not. This is a very busy Ronda Rousey. This is a very tired Ronda Rousey. She's making movies, she's doing commercials, she's on Jimmy Kimmel. She's been, a, she's had a her plate pretty full, and now she also traveled overseas into enemy territory. No, Coach, if you want to know the truth, I really thought her eye has uh, not quite been focused on the ball as much as she has been before. With that said, I've never seen her look sharper. Uh, Joe Rogan, who's a really good caller analyst who does the fight, said that that's as good as she's ever seen her look, that she's more dangerous than she's ever been. What makes her able, with everything you just said, how busy she is to when she gets in the octagon be locked in and look more impressive every single time you know there's a couple of things first off she stepped in a step ahead of everybody else she had an amateur background and these other girls simply did it they haven't shaken hands and competed with another human being with an audience and the lights and the cameras going as many times as Rhonda has so the gap was big to start with and secondly I don't know coach but she's got something there's something to be said for momentum and it's on Rhonda's side so now as we look forward very quickly, it looks like Misha Tate for a third time. Is that a fight that, that people want to see? Is there a fight that people want to see? Yeah, I think people want to see Misha Tate fight with her. Now look, that gap is pretty sizable. Misha has gone the furthest with Ronda. She got submitted. She, she rematched her again. She was submitted again. We know how this fight is going to end, but if you want to make the argument of who's the most deserving, who's the next one in line, it's Misha part three. I think that's bad news for the division. Look, a division needs parity, but there's only so many women out there that can make 135 pounds they can raise their hand and say, put me in. There's kind of an unwritten rule. If you're just joining us here on Sports Center, Chael, son and coach, uh, Ronda Rousey, spectacular night. Under 40 seconds. We don't have the official time yet. She knocks out. Uh, that's Kohea. A second ago, a few moments ago, Rousey said in her post-fight interview, I hope nobody brings up my family again. There's that old saying, don't put too much bulletin board material out there. She said this was personal. Is Rousey a person you want to do that to? Because clearly, she's still thinking about this after the fight. Yeah, that's true. You know, a lot gets put on the mental side of things. This fight was 100% physical. No judge or referee or Joe Rogan or coach or Chael came out and asked Ronda, how'd you feel? Were you angry? A left hook connected with the jaw and put her opponent down. This is physical. Analysts like you and I can try to say this is a mental game all we want. One person's going to punch the other one more than they get punched and they get their hand raised and that's what happened tonight. And one of the cool things about tonight, and he was my star of the night last night, one of the great professional wrestlers of all time, uh, Rowdy Rowdy Piper. She went to him and asked him if she could use the nickname. Sure. He said yes. She then last night dedicated this fight to him. He passed away at the age of 61. She was very emotional after the match just a moment ago when she was talking about that. How much do you think that played into tonight? Well, yeah, I think it's a beautiful story. Rowdy Roddy Piper's from Oregon. I'm from Oregon. I'm teammates with his son, Colt. So this was also meaningful for me. I, I really can tell you as a fan, I appreciated that Ronda did it. I thought it, it was tremendously respectful. I'm glad that news got all the way to her in Brazil and that she thought to include Roddy Piper. I'm glad that you thought to include him last night and even tonight, Coach. Pretty cool. Anything Ronda can use for motivation, she will. She's not motivated by money anymore. She's not motivated for a championship. You know, Coach, once you climb a mountain, it's very rare that you want to climb it again and again. The true greats, the Serena Williams, the Ronda Rouseys, they continue to climb it, but they search for motivation. If she had to turn to Rowdy Roddy Piper to do it, then Godspeed. It wasn't that long ago that Dana White said there will never be females fighting in my UFC. Yep. What has Ronda Rousey done to not only make us forget about that, 
but make this very legitimate in the world of the UFC. Yeah, Ronda Rousey's a legitimate athlete. There's no look. The UFC got labeled as a spectacle for years. Now those times are way way past us. It's not branded that way anymore. But Ronda Rousey was never part of that conversation. This is a world champion uh, in judo. This is a two-time Olympian that brought home a bronze medal for the country. Ronda Rousey dropped out of high school her sophomore year. She had to live in a car. She had sacrificed. It has not been all moonlighted canoes for Ronda Rousey. Her and her mother struggled. Her sister, they struggled. They lost the father to the suicide that Betch chose to bring up in this fight. Mm -hmm. The point that I'm getting at is the road to Ronda Rousey's success is a very beautiful story because it was rocky, it was tough, it was built with discipline, grit, and dedication. Don't put her back to the wall, coach, and that's how she felt tonight. i got to stay on the fight, but I'm going to ask you at some other point what Moonlight Canoes actually means. Uh, but <laughs> if you are a fan, and in the buildup, we saw Mike Tyson stop and actually have some time with her, and she is becoming very Tyson-esque that if you're not in your seat and you're not ready to go when that bell rings, you're going to miss her knocking out her opponents. Why is she able to do it and do it so quickly? Well, there's a couple of things here. First off, this division is forming. You've got Ronda Rousey, who is a true and pure athlete. She came through Olympic-level competition. You've got a bunch of other girls that have jumped in professional fighting, and that's a brand-new sport. As you said, our president, Dana White, recently, just a number of years ago, said we're not even going to see this. So you've got a lifetime competitor versus some brand-new people that got into a sport. That's relevant. Ronda's going to look different. She is different. Now, secondly, Coach, to explain what she's doing and how well she's doing it with her schedules we tried to allude to before, it's very hard to do. It's, it's absolute discipline. The point I'm trying to make, this is not the best Ronda Rousey. What you saw right here is a tired and fatigued Ronda Rousey that's also dealing with a time delay going over to Brazil. Mm -hmm. She still won in 35 seconds. Do you understand the point I'm trying to make? I understand what you're trying to say. She's leaving the arena uh, as we speak. Uh, very emotional still and so if you take that emotion from the end of the fight through the post fight interview and now as she walks to the back what do you think the emotion is saying I think there's a little bit of relief here's the one thing that Rhonda's missing again I bring up her amateur status but all you get as an amateur athlete is a pat on the back when Rhonda got into professional sports she got into it for the same reason it wasn't about fame it wasn't about the money it wasn't to go out and make these a-level movies it was about getting that pat on the back and having people tell her good job that's why an athlete gets into little league or gets into sports from the beginning whether it's that admiration from their parents or their coach or their classmates Rhonda's beginning to lose that because of the expectations put on her I I love that she can still humble herself. Humble herself. It's not about pay-per-view draws. It's not sell about selling out in arenas. It's about setting a goal, getting that accomplishment. And I love that people are still telling her, "Good job." If you're just joining us here on Sports Center, breaking news: Ronda Rousey has done it again. Very impressive first-round uh, knockout inside of 40 seconds. Chell Sonnen, Jonathan Coachman here on Sports Center. Now that she is such a big star and she has done it yet again, and you use the M word, motivation. What is going to motivate her now? Because I think for the first time we heard her talk of retirement during this preparation because how much more does she need to prove? Sure. And, and you know, I don't think as an athlete you ever want to leave anything on the table. And plenty of times, you know, I'll compare it to your, your old world of professional wrestling. You don't leave with the strap. You pass that torch. That's I exactly think that right. Ronda believes in that as well. She can only fight the same person so many times. Here we are saying Misha Tate should be the top contender. That would be part three. How many times does she give someone an opportunity before she chooses to move on? I'd love to see her go out on top. At the same time, Coach, I don't see why she'd go make a movie if she's doing it for money when she could go work for 35 seconds or less in the octagon and make five times the amount. All right. They just handed me several numbers here. Uh, as we're getting all the official numbers that are coming in from this particular fight. And the one I think that jumps out to me, last three fights have lasted a total of 64 seconds. Wow. Have you ever seen an athlete in any sport, any level, male or female, be this dominant in what they are doing? The only one I could think of, and I would have to pull numbers myself, but is Iron Mike Tyson. I remember he started putting people down so quickly that his promoter, Don King, and DirecTV teamed up and said, look, if this doesn't last X amount of time, we will refund X amount of your money on the pay-per-view. 
Coach, if I had to guess without consulting Google right now, I would say no. I would say if she finished three people in 64 seconds, that is the record. 16 seconds, 14 seconds, and then tonight the official time was 34 seconds. That's as dominant uh, as, as you can get. Do you like the fact that she was willing, and I thought it was pretty cool, even though they fought halfway into the middle of the night, that she said, you know what, I'll go to your country. I'll go into a sold-out arena that is not rooting for right. me, and then she wins, and the crowd ends up rooting for her after she beat one of their, you know, native sons, so to speak. Not enough was made of this. Not enough was made of the fact. Look, anytime you see a champion, they follow a recipe. Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, they all follow the same recipe, which is no. When a fight is suggested, they say no. They get headlines for refusing the fight. When those die down, then they accept the fight and they get a whole new set of the headlines. Ronda Rousey says nothing but yes. Anyone, anywhere, anytime, she makes absolutely no exception. She also has never held our president, Dana White, up for money. She could. She could come in the back. You know how that works. Oh, yeah. You're in the back. Oh, yeah. You can hold a guy up before you walk through the curtain. She is professional. She's a woman of her word, and she's a competitor. I keep coming back to this. But as a competitor, as an amateur, you go where the competition is. You shake hands, and you live with the result. That's what Rhonda does that these other girls simply cannot manifest without several more years of preparation. So many different... Uh, storylines and avenues that she has walked down uh, to this point and leading up to this fight there was uh, a thing online where young girls could send in videos on what Ronda Rousey meant to them you've been in the fight game for a long time you've been in the UFC what has she done for the fan base she has completely changed it, Coach, but not just for the women, for the men as well. See, here's one of the things that happened, and I'm guilty of it too, but whenever we talk about women in sports, we tend to say things like women in sports. Listen, let's just talk about the record. She's got them. And the fact that she's a female doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with it. She's selling T-shirts to boys, girls, men, women, children of all ages, if you will, are getting behind this girl. I went to her uh, one of her fights. I sat next to Will Smith, the most bankable star in all of Hollywood. He was there, not because he loved Ronda Rousey, but because his wife and daughter loved Ronda Rousey. It's just one example, but families and people watching everywhere can get behind somebody. And I think, Coach, if they really knew the backstory of Ronda, if they knew about her living in her car, dropping out of high school, the suicide of her father, the struggles of her mother and her sister, to get her to where she is now, it was a family affair. It was not a road that was paved with a silver spoon. I think when they hear that story, if it ever gets told, maybe we could get it on Sports Center someday if that ever gets told coach i think her stock goes even higher i think i would love to do that interview maybe maybe i will if you're just joining us here on sports center i have uh, to check my phone i know this is unprofessional but somebody keeps on texting me <laughs> and i'm glad i checked it it's dana white you and coach are killing it <laughs> and i'm not kidding that was very nice he very actually did he actually all did right. say that that's pretty cool that all right we got time for one more you'll be back and you're right yeah we're doing a good job yeah, we're doing now. a great job i'm sure he's watching right now uh as we start to move forward then and you said not just men not just women where is she at right now what more can she do what she needs right now more than anybody more than anything and i'm glad i'm not in the shoes of dana white or joe silva our matchmakers she needs an opponent now two fighters throughout history have sold on their own iron mike tyson oscar de la hoya without an opponent throughout the history of combat without a dance partner i'll remind you of roy jones jr's career best boxer there was throughout the 90s but he never had that opponent he wasn't in uh, you know the the tommy leonard's and sugar ray era where they had roberto duran uh, and marvin Hagler and there he, was, he was, wasn't, wasn't in that, and we need somebody to step in for Ronda. Now, there's a name that floats out there, Chris Cyborg. I'm not totally sure why that name's out there. She's not even in the weight class, let alone in the organization of the UFC. I'd love to see her get to that point, but, Coach, I don't think we're ever going to. So the question for Ronda comes to parity, comes to bracketing, comes to the name out of the hat. Who are you going to put her in there with? Well, that's a question for another night. It's a tough question. Tonight, it's all about her winning yet again in dominating fashion. 34 seconds. The last three fights, a total of 64 seconds. Um, just amazing to watch what she has become, this phenomenon that is uh, Rowdy her Ronda ring Rousey. Walk is longer than her last three <laughs> fights. We should sit around and say things that are shorter than 64 seconds. That would be more entertaining. That Amazing. would be harder work Amazing. than she worked tonight. Uh, you'll be back top of the hour. We'll put a bow on this whole thing. Uh, Chael Sonnen, amazing. Rousey, uh, victorious again, this time down in Brazil. See you in a few minutes. Very cool.
Should we text Dana back? What should we text? We probably should. I just send him a pic. He brings up my family anymore when it comes to fights, and I hope this um, this is the last time. Is this the best she has ever looked to you? Yeah, Here, look, here's the thing, Coach. This is the best opponent she's ever taken on. Betche Carrera was completely undefeated. She'd never been blemished. She beat up two of Ronda's training mates, also her housemates, also her best friends. Ronda knew exactly what she was going into. Now, Ronda played it cool, but truth be told, had she revealed this, she knew full well that this was a girl that had the potential to beat her. And even if she wasn't going to drop the strap tonight, it was her toughest fight yet. And it was. And it only took her 35 seconds. A lot of emotion. She brought up Piper, who passed away at 61 her father who, who committed suicide so a lot of emotion for her now that she's going forward what will her motivation be the next time coach that's what's so tough listen a lot of these athletes get in there for the medal like she did when she was tracing uh, chasing olympic dreams then they transition to professional because they want to make a few bucks look she's filthy rich and then they want to get a little bit of fame she's got the fame then they want to get the world championship she's got the world championship i don't know what it is that drives her but i can tell you the passing of roddy piper the comments on the suicide that she had to relate to with her own father she used these things she used them very well part of it was a little manufactured i don't think it bothered quite as much as she let on the point i'm making coach is that like a great athlete she will find something she will find that one reason to stay in the fight as opposed to the hundred reasons to pull out she's made very clear that she wants to retire undefeated that is important to her who's next for her okay Here's what I think. I believe it's going to be Misha Tate. Now, on the commercial break, I sent our president, Dana White, a text message. I said, Coach and I want to break some news on Sports Center. Who is next for Ronda Rousey? Dana White wrote back and he said, Who do you and Coach think should be next? And then he laid out completely. So I have absolutely nothing. But, <laughs> but I will tell you this. Now, as Dana is having fun taunting us here on Sports Center, Misha Tate does stand in line next, competitive wise. With the competitive architecture of MMA, Misha Tate is next. She took Ronda uh, to the furthest distance. She contested her for the championship twice, once in strike ports, once in the UFC. Now, bad news for Misha. We've seen that fight twice. Ronda whipped her and finished her on two separate occasions. However, there is a demand for that fight. Perhaps that will be next, absent of Chris Cyborg, and I don't think that the Cyborg fight is very realistic to begin with. Well, right now, Rousey's going to enjoy this one. She wins in 34 seconds, and the build has been fun for us. So, Chael Sonnen, as always, thank you here on Sports Center. So the question a minute. Prior to Saturday, Ronda Rousey needed a total of 30 seconds to dispose of her last two opponents. UFC 175, 2014. She stunned Alexis Davis with the right hand, tops of the mat, over. Then UFC 184 last February. Kat Zingano charged the champion, but Rousey avoided the takedown to land on top. She then finished with her padded armbar. Time of the match, a record 14 seconds. Then to Saturday, UFC 190. Rousey had to work just a bit harder, but still needed just 34 seconds to successfully defend her title for a sixth consecutive time. Clearly the best women's champion there has ever been. Two